In this video, I'll show you how to connect a Power Apps solution to a Git repository in an environment mode. Now, in my previous video, I have shown you how to connect a solution to a Git repository, but this time, uh, uh, the last time we used something called as an environment mode. Now, how to how do you know that what mode you are connecting it? Now against a solution if you go into the git connection you will see that there is a connection type as environment now what happens with an environment type is any solution which you create over here that will get connected to the git repository uh, once you have connected the first environment to the git repository uh, and then uh, it will create some sort of a folder structure so say take for example if you have this environment like Giresh UAT now any item you create will be stored as a part of that component type so say take for example i have this three different solution and three different solution has different different component like flows or web resources or application so what the structure would be in an environment mode is uh, first at a root level you have this uat folder and then depending on the type it will create a corresponding folder and it will store the information so I had like a couple of solutions. So it will store solutions in a different folder name. Then we have web resources. It will have the corresponding GUID. If you have multiple publishers, it will store the, uh, all the information in a publisher uh, and then modern flows and connection references. Now, if you see the structure, it is environment specific. So this is environment and then whatever solution you put within your environment, it will create a folder and then within folder, it will start putting those information. Now, the next approach which we are going to look is now uh, we will use a solution level and we will just compare what is the difference between those. So I have a different environment like Giresh Prod over here. So if you see over here, this is a different environment, Giresh Prod. I have a couple of solution, Adlet solution and Prisprint solution. So let's add some item over here. So let me go into Adlet solution and I'll just add just for a uh, demo purpose, I will add a web resource. So let me add uh, a web resource. So I'll add an ICO uh, web resource and I will add an another web resource. So maybe Qantas, click on save. So I have this two items within one of the solution. Then I'll go back and I'll go into another solution, say Brisbane solution, and then I will add a uh, couple of other things. So I'll go to more web resource, choose the file, and maybe let's say pick up this one, sample one.png. Oh, I think this is a big bigger size. So let me pick up this, click on save. And maybe I'll add a uh, couple of things more. Uh, let me add, uh, instead of the PNG file, let me go into the code and let me add a JS file. So let's add a JS file. Click on save. Okay, so my solution is ready. Uh, now I have two solutions and then this solution I will connect to Git repository. This environment is fresh. I haven't connected anything to Git repository. Now, if you want to connect to a Git repository, make sure that you navigate to portal.azure.com, go into Azure DevOps organization, go into my Azure DevOps organization and create a corresponding folder, uh, a corresponding project rather. Now, in my previous example, I've already created a project called as UAT Git repos project. Now for this, I will create a new project. Okay, so new project name, I'll call it as Girish Production Git. And make sure that it is a Git repository and it has created this. Uh, go into the repos and whatever settings you want to configure you can configure but make sure that you click on initialize so that the repository is ready for use so we have created a project named as Girish production kit it has correspondingly created a repository with the same name okay so it is Girish production kit and it has uh, a main branch in it you can create new branch you can create different different branches depending on how you store your code all right so come to this environment and now if i select say one of the solution okay it will 
tell you that source control status is not connected to git not connected to git okay now let me select say brisbane solution over here if i click on this three dots i if you see over here there is no option for me to connect or uh, work with the repository okay the only option you get is like you unselect it and you click on connect to git okay so this is the unmanaged solution level connect to git now as you see over here it is telling connecting to git will turn on manage environment for this environment so that's a default setting uh, and then you will have an option to select the connection type environment or solution now we have seen environment type let's go into the solution type now it says connect different solutions in this environment to different branches and folders okay now the difference between this type the solution type is uh, now we have already worked on environment type what it will do is it will create a folder at a root level and then it will store the corresponding type across multiple solutions but with the solution type it will independently create a folder with the name of that solution so let's try out that so if you go to the organization select the organization uh, it will start iterating through the project and now we have created this garish production kit this is a reason we have created well beforehand so that you get this option for selection and repository create set the repository and now here you can specify the root git folder okay now i will i can call this folder whatever thing uh, but lay, maybe let me call this as uh, say production so this is that production folder right because we are, we are connecting from a production environment or you know like the name is production uh, I click on next and then it will ask me what which solution do you want to connect to okay let me go back and show you the screen we have connected the organization we are connected to the project we are connected to the repository and this is the root folder so we need something at a root level right okay that's good click on next now we'll say i want to connect say adelaide solution first okay and i'll connect to the main branch and as you see this naming convention the root folder yes this is the one we specified and the next folder name it has automatically picked now you have an option to rename it but in this example we are not going to do that just to give you that clarity how the folder structure works okay so production slash adelaide solution click on connect now, once you click on connect, will you see the changes uh, in the repository? Uh, no. So if you see over here, let me go into the repository. There is no commit, so you will not see any information. You will only see this folder. As you see over here, there is an Adelaide solution folder which we have created, but we haven't pushed any files, okay? Now, as you see over here, this is connected to Git. So now, if I go into the Adelaide solution, you have two items over here. Now. In the left hand side you will see source control you will see the changes there are three changes uh, so there are like a solution there's a publisher change so what it will do it will uh, if i click on commit it will push the source control items uh, push the solution item into the source control so i'll click on commit and i'll say first headlight commit click on commit And once it is committed in Adelaide solution, you should see the files. Okay. So it's still doing that processing. And as you see over here within Adelaide solution, we now have a publisher name. Yes, that publisher name is Girish Emeritus. Uh, then we have solutions. There's a solution file. And then we have the web resource. Now, if you want to see preview the web resource content, like this is the configuration part of this web resource.yml but if you want to actually see the image you click on it and then you see this ico file similarly you have an another web resource file uh, which is of uh, contest uh, logo and you will see this corresponding file so if you see the structure what it has done it has segregated the solution and within the solution you have publisher solution web resource or any other component okay so this is like the i would say a most preferred approach for me however you have an option like uh, to put everything from an environment uh, in a 
single bucket and then you can segregate the solution so this is a different way of a representation okay now in one solution maybe you might be building for different different uh, department or business unit then uh, it is the solution based approach is better but if you think that oh you're building it for one entire entity or say one complete department then i think this is the preferred approach depending on your choice now let's do one thing let's push an another solution so we have this brisbane solution so let's go into the brisbane solution now brisbane solution this will not connect to git so you have an option now this is an another uh, method uh, not an another method but an another feature that it will not automatically connect so i need to connect to git so i'll click on connect to git select the branch select the folder it has already selected this folder uh, we can rename this but i won't click on connect and then it will connect this so as we see over here this is connected to the git repository i'll go to brisbane solution and i have a couple of items over here so i have a js and i have a png click on source control there are four changes web resource couple of web resource one publisher and one solution click on commit And now we are pushing an another solution into the repository so you should see one more folder over here so let me go into the repos go into the production folder the root folder you will see this brisbane solution and then you will slowly start seeing the publisher now if you see the publisher over here is girish corporation here the publisher was girish emeritus so it has segregated this on basis of solutions so if you it is pretty much clear that there are a couple of web resources there's one solution which is brisbane solution now if i go to web resources there are two web resources there is a yml file over here so this is i believe this is a js so as you see over here this there is a set of js and then you have a image file over here okay now this is a js as you see over here you can uh, you, you say you cannot edit in a read-only editor if i click on edit then i can just maybe put some comment okay so i'm making some changes so i'm just adding some text okay i'll click on commit and this has put some automatic comment i will just say updated js file you want to commit to a branch name of main click on commit now the commit is there in your devops okay now if you go into the repository over here you will see changes updates and conflicts let me click on refresh for a moment okay so if there are uh, any refresh like uh, if there are any changes within your solution it will come under this changes however if there are any changes within the repository you need to first check for updates now as you see if you click on check for updates you will see this oh this file has been modified on 31st of the 5th and now it says update is successful commit is successful that was for previous thing and you can just say pull okay so get this information over here and uh, and then your solution is synchronized so what what has happened over here is like the solution uh, we have made some changes in the js that we have pulled that in this environment uh, and now as you see over here this is all connected to git right now i have an option okay so if you see over here now if i click on this dot i get an option like a git connection okay so if i go to git connection over here i can see uh, the solution is connected to git repository i have an option to disconnect solution from git okay now i'll click on disconnect solution from git or maybe yeah let me click on this so this will disconnect this solution from git okay so what happens is like when i say disconnect it will not alter any other solution which is connected to git it will only disconnect that solution from git so this is the benefit you get if you uh, create that connection type through a solution okay so there is no automatic uh, connection to a git you have to manually connect it however you have an option to isolate that as well also if you think tomorrow that i want to connect to git you can again come here and connect to git so what changes it makes at a repository level so let me go into the repository over here so as you see over here this is brisbane solution this is all this information still exists over here but the only point over here is like it has been disconnected now if you want to connect to a git you can come here connect to git select the branch 
specify the same folder again click on connect and then it should connect it is automatically connected so so folks couple of things before we wrap up there are two options to connect a git repository it is at an environment level and it is at a solution level the first example which i showed you which is over here this is at an environment level so you have an environment level structure you will have a root folder and then all the corresponding component uh, from different solution will be stored within this particular folder structure. If you connect uh, at a solution level, uh, at a root folder level, you will see all the solutions within your environment. And then within the solution, you will see all the components like publisher solution, web resources, uh, flows or applications. So all this information will be stored within a folder structure for that specific solution. So depending on your need, you can pick up either of the options there are advantages and disadvantages the make bigger advantage uh, if you use a solution based approach is you can selectively disconnect a solution uh, from syncing to the repository and uh, the disadvantage is like you need to manually add that solution to get repository it won't get automatically like in the environment way so that's it folks this is how we connect a solution from a power apps environment to a git repository thanks for watching